Alrighty folks, uh, the proof of the uh, pudding is in the flying in this particular case. We're in the midst of the chaos that is known as AOPA 2009. We're over at the Peter O'Knight Airport. We've been uh, dodging everything from little LSAs all the way up to Piper Meridians and just having a pretty good time with it. We've now had a chance to fly the three tube installation with Aspen Avionics retrofitted to an SR-22. In a word, you're not going to find a better panel for the money. A three tube installation at uh, right around 23,000 is insane. It's really an amazing value and in this day and age where every penny counts, uh, you could go on and on about it, but let's go beyond that. There's nothing cheap about this system. You, they may have a very good price point, but there's nothing inexpensive. There's nothing below the line in this particular system. First of all, screens outstanding. Looking into the sun, direct to sun in midday, Florida, not a cloud in the sky, as tough a test as it gets, no problem even with sunglasses on. Redraw times, breathtakingly fast, even to the point where you can't really say redraw, it keeps up. We were zooming in and out for full continental United States all the way down to the traffic pattern at TPF without any problem or hesitation. And on any of the big screens, there's just no way they can do that. Traffic call outs, especially with the insanity that comes with any fly-in, perfectly done, very easy to follow. Uh, their weather implementations, especially the way to layer and, and their call outs, the way they did tops was uh, absolutely outstanding. Their winds aloft, really nicely done in 3,000 foot increments. We did a uh, ILS over into Lakeland, uh, had a great time with that. Uh, tremendous thought given into the interface and especially uh, cues. They've got a great little uh, descent indicator and then gives you the uh, specific uh, descent speed in feet per minute just in a good spot where you need it when you're trying to just really edge out what you want on your ILS. Overall, a very flyable, very easy to learn system. We flew it for the better part of an hour and I feel fairly comfortable with everything we've seen. So for the time being, if you've got a retrofit, you've got an older airplane and you want to bring it into the 21st century, this is the best bet there is. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, 
With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Let's talk about this particular installation. This is the full three tube, uh, the whole nine yards, so to speak. Uh, and as I understand, that's 23 and change for a three tube glass panel installation? Yeah, actually, a little less than 23, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Priced very affordably. Um, it's also a very compatible system. Um, Aspen has always uh, strove to, to develop products that will be affordable for GA aircraft and so our systems are designed to work just with about anything out on the market right now so it makes it a very easy installation as far as you know working with your existing avionics you don't have to go out and buy new nav radios or anything like that so not only do we have a good equipment price but we've got a really good compatibility value as well We've heard from our good friends at Sarasota Avionics, uh, who've done we've done quite a bit of work with them. That the install process and the support that they've gotten from you has been absolutely outstanding. And the nice part is now the shops have worked out the bugs. They know what they have to do. They're very familiar with the gear. So installs at this point are about as cheap as they're going to get. I think I think the dealers have pretty much got it down on how to put these units in. Um, we've seen some great installs out there. Uh, we did back it up with very good support and we'll continue to do so. We actually, uh, you know, we won the associate member for uh, the Aircraft Electronics Association. Our, you know, first year really of shipping product. That's not an easy award to get. That's voted for by the dealers. And, you know, we're going to continue that. That's a great value add. And let's face it, uh, a happy customer and a happy dealer makes a happy manufacturer. And so we're really going to strive to make sure that our customers and our dealers are well served. You have put phenomenal thought into this interface. I mean, interface has become a major sticking point for me, having worked with the best in the business, watched uh, the original Integra series, walked G1000 grow up to perspective, and now on uh, release nine, which you know, for me has just been a, just a great, great buy for me personally. There's some stuff here that you actually do better. That's great, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I mean, we have a superior design, uh, UI design crew at Aspen. And, you know, let's face it too, we have not, uh, been successful by just doing what everybody else has done over and over. We came up with a new interface that we think will work out better for our customers and uh, we're getting great feedback on it. Here's the big question. What's the future hold for Aspen? Well, we're very excited about the helicopter. Uh, you know, we just got our first install, which you can actually see on our customer gallery up on our website. So we're going to be, you know, releasing our helicopter product, and that's going to open up a whole new market for us. We're very excited about that. We'll be adding next year future upgrades to our product, and that's one of the real powers of our product is that it's easily upgradable. It's easily expandable, so you can start as simple as you want and build the, the system out since it's all built on the same hardware platform, which allows allows us to easily integrate new upgrades and uh, updates to the software load as well. So next year you'll be seeing uh, some uh, KI-256 replacement, for example, for autopilot heading inputs. Uh, we'll be working into the Class 3 market, and uh, we've got other things out on the horizon that we're getting really excited about. We can't wait to see it. That's great. Thanks for, thanks for uh, your time today. Brad, thank you.